Hello guys, Waterlord here and welcome to another deck club, the show where we will be going through a deck, talking about how it plays, and then playing some live games with it. Now the deck that we are going to be talking about today is the most based combo deck in the entire format, I'm talking about Fire Beast Fusion. Now the main draw of the deck is the Hormone Gun McQueen and Magnificent Shitterin, and what it does is it effectively blows up your opponent's entire board. More specifically, it destroys every face-up, level 9 or lower, non-fire edge monster on your opponent's field. And that is on paper a pretty strong effect, and will be the uh, it will be the effect that we will be building around in this deck. So the main strategy of this deck is to be uh, finding all your pieces, your fusion materials in the Harami Kushiro the Shichin Samurai and the Tate Spectre as well as a copy of fusion, to be able to fusion summon the Home Gun McQueen, and then fire off a copy of Secret Order Special Summoning Diop, in order to deal 6,100 damage, which is a massive chunk of damage. You can even go higher if you have a second copy of Secret Order as well as a second copy of Diop to be able to deal 9,000 damage, which is a very strong ceiling. But that's the ceiling, and uh, we will be having to work towards that ceiling with some of our consistency pieces in the Amazing Dealer in the Art of Masked Fiery Noodle drawing out the rich tasty flavor reversal. I'm not saying the name again, I'm going to I'm going to refer to this as flavor reversal for the entire video. And also the two copies of Ship of Seven Treasures. And arguably Hyena and the Just Meat are also consistency pieces in the deck, as they allow you to mill certain pieces like fusion for starry start and die ups for secret order as well as the fire attribute monsters for the Harami Kuchiro. Now we are running a lot of Pyro Normal monsters for this uh, flavor reversal right here. Uh, uh, outside of the fusion materials in Diop and Taste Inspector, which go into your Home and Comet Queen and the secondary fusion, the Miso Instant, we are also playing this 1500 attack beat stack that is also a vanilla, the Jama Louis. I'm never going to learn how to pronounce that. But yeah, we are just playing this because it is a vanilla monster, but also a 1500 attack beat stick is not bad at all. Uh, now you could totally just play a bunch more like vanilla fire pyros. Like the volcanic rat, like some of the other noodle ninjas, the tang and the stock I believe are the uh, fire attribute ones. Yep, you can absolutely play those to have more uh, chances to proc your flavor reversal. But I chose to make this deck not too linear and so chose to fit the Fire Beast package in. Now uh, the main payoff for playing these Fire Beasts specifically is that you get a third fusion to play with. So your copies of your three copies of fusion and starry stuff are less dead in your hand basically. And what the fusion is is this prime roast beef horseman, which is probably the funniest fusion to come out as of late. What it does is during the main phase that you special summon this card, you can place 4 fire attribute beast type monsters from your grave on top of your deck in any order to add one of each of just meat burning beat co Just meat <laughs> Then you can add up to one each of just meat burning beast quality and wild kitchen from your grave to your hand. We are only playing one of these cards and that is the just meat, which uh works very well with this fusion monster since uh this uh, stacks 4 Fire Beast Attribute Monsters uh, to the top of your deck, and Just Meat requires you to hit 4 Fire Beast Monsters from the top of your deck with its effect to uh, get a monstrous amount of attack, specifically 2900 attack boost. So you can basically go Seeker Order, Summon a Die Up, make the Prime Rose be Solfman, and then also get the Just Meat back, and then fire the Just Meat and target your Secret Order Die Up, which will give you a 6100 attack monster that cannot be destroyed by traps. Very funny combo, and I hope to show that off in this video. Now, uh, unlike my normal decks that run Mirror Force, we are not running Mirror Force, we are running the Monster Reborn, and that is because both of our main fusions need two tribute monsters, and while the secret order will help us get to the die up, nothing is helping us get to the Harami Kushiro, and if we just mill all of them, we have no way to get it back. And thus, the monster reborn is a pretty nice way to retrieve this Harami Kushiro to be able to fuse into it. And also, it just makes the process of fusing easier, since uh, instead of needing to get two tribute 
Tyrants to tribute for the Harami and then the Taste Inspector and then the Fusion. You just need Monster Reborn plus Taste Inspector plus Fusion. And we're also playing one copy of Dark Lurker just to be able to clear some back row. I was originally on some additional graveyard. Not graveyard, uh, we are okay. we were on some more additional back row hate, but we didn't we ended up not having enough space to justify it. So Dark Lurker is a nice way to have a monster from back row removal for uh outward that doesn't conflict with any of our other card slots. Also just does a bit of burn damage which can help you close out the game in certain situations. Now that we have gone over the deck, let's head on over to the gameplay. Alright, we are now in a game and now okay this is a very interesting hand. You can definitely argue for using amazing dealer here discarding some of these cards and then cycling into the deck but I don't think I need to. I think my hand is my spell lineup is pretty good anyway, so I don't think I need the uh, meeting dealer here. Would like to keep all of these except the just meat, I guess. And like the both the show of seven treasures and the flavor of reversal will be pretty good in the future turns, so I'm gonna keep those. And if the either of these amazing dealers somehow live, then I can flip them up, flip them up next turn, and then use the effect then, where I will probably have a better target. Playing into Reptile, it seems. Play a more focused variant of this. Hitting the armor lizard here. Not having to deal with one of these Claudions is pretty nice. I don't want to see them uh, in my opponent's grip anytime soon. Leia looks like we'll be losing both of these, which is fine now. Uh, we Again, we still have pretty good spells here for next turn. Two back row. What? What? Sure, okay, you know what? That's fine. Uh, in that case, I can use both of these amazing dealers here. So I need to think about whether I want to keep this fusion or not. I think I do. Uh, I'm gonna discard the he Hyena. I'm definitely not gonna be able to use this here. Uh, definitely the Marmot. I, def I for sure don't need to use that. I'm gonna keep the Taste Inspector because it is a fusion material. Uh, and the fusions that I can get off the Taste Inspector are more uh, impactful, so I'm gonna discard the Battle Ox now. I guess we will be going again. This time we will be discarding the. I'm thinking whether I wanna discard the Secret Order or not. I think I actually wanna discard the Fusion. Mm. Yeah, I'll discard the Secret Order, I don't think I need it here. We threw into it again, okay. Uh, here I have one Pyro Monster in my grave now, so I what I can do is I can Tribute Summon this die up And then use the Flavor Reversal to discard one of these Taste Inspectors to just cycle through and see what we can get here A Dark Lurker, so what we can do is that we can show 7 treasures to discard that Further dig into this deck, draw some more cards And now we can go into this Taste Inspector and then Fuse into the Miso Instant. And then we can Secret Order to get the uh, die up back. And I get, uh, I guess I want to play around Mirror Force. I don't want to like get blown up by it. So I'm going to set this Roasted Horseman, prevent myself from dealing an extra 12. But I will be um, slightly more insulated against Mirror Force. Well, uh, the die would live anyway, just in case I'm gonna set this. And I can easily keep, uh, catch up with the damage here with the uh, Harder Army in hand. If I get like a Star Restart or another Fusion, I can deal uh, 6100 damage, which is uh, the threshold in this deck. A very easy threshold to meet, uh, honestly. Uh, what is troubling is the this Rocket Tortoise is actually a fire attribute, so I can't kill it with the uh, Hormone Gamma Queen. Which is going to matter, probably. <laughs> that would not be particularly ideal, for sure. We have the Piercing with the Miso Instant if we need to deal damage that way, so we are probably fine. Oh, we're going to the Heavenly Revelation. Probably getting the Caligulion here. 
Yeah. Yeah. How big is this? 30, 34, 30. Well, it's big. It's just, it's just big. Uh, we don't care about it though. We have the Harami in hand and we undoubtedly have more than enough fire attribute monsters in grave. We're gonna be taking a lot of damage here. But this is uh, definitely not that big of a deal. Can very easily bounce back from that. 37, more than enough to get uh, hit here. I guess I'm gonna, just gonna activate this flavor reversal. We'll just dig and uh, see what we can get. Ooh. Uh, let's go another one. We'll discard the die up. Thinking whether I want to discard this uh, monster reborn, also, I don't think I need to. We'll just discard the die up and see if we draw into anything. We drew into the fusion, which is pretty good. Granted, I don't think I need the fusion anymore. Let's <laughs> we'll go here. Tribute summon the Harami and then activate the effect to wipe the Acidesis Caligulion. We'll go Secret Order for one of these die ups. We'll keep the Show of Seven Treasures, we'll keep the Reborn in our back row. And then we'll go Battle Phase, we'll attack with the Harami in case he's playing solo performance. And then we will attack for a game, looks like. Yep, we shall be attacking for game. We so instant and the die up will be swinging in for the door. That was a very smooth one. Great, game 2. That was definitely a very smooth game for us. We drew basically everything we needed and our opponent did not have the required interaction to deal with our board. Let's see if we can replicate that this game. Oh well, this has terrible. All right, we need to draw a die up, or we will be in a bad spot. Or I guess uh, I'll be fine with an amazing dealer here. I can discard some stuff. Can you discard all of this? Two thousand five hundred Caligulion. Not a very big one. This is early game of all. And the Claudion. Okay. This Claudion will be a pretty big threat, especially with my terrible hand. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage here. Set this. Uh, I don't want to set this just me. I'll set this and the secret order for sure. I guess I'll set the fusion. And past one. We'll just have to hopefully draw something better next one. Claudion effect will uh, get the piercing on the Caligulion. I only have 800 defense, so I'm definitely gonna be taking a lot of damage. Yikes, okay, yeah, even more damage, I guess. Pass the Reptile to sack off for the Rocket Tortoise for additional damage. I'm not there. Oh, that might actually kill me. That's a big chunk. 45, 37, 37 plus 32. Uh, I'm dead here. Great. Alright, sometimes, sometimes you open poorly and sometimes your opponent opens everything they need. You know, sometimes it just works out that way. Certainly not the best hand I could be opening here. But they, uh, definitely did not help that only a one defensive monster there. Alright, see what we can get here. Two secret orders. 
for future turns is uh, pretty nice. I'm gonna get this Marmot in attack position. How much does it matter? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it in attack. Just so that uh, his armored lizards and whatnot can't like attack and do it without having to crash. Double secret order hopefully will join the die up soon. We don't have a single pyro monster here, so our flavor reversal that we will draw into later on won't be live. But it's probably fine for now. They opened the amazing dealer here, that's pretty good for them. Ooh, discarding uh two two tribute monsters is interesting. Maybe it have a third one in hand. Which I guess they did. I guess now I'm regretting summoning this in the attack, but eh. I'm I'm fine losing a 1000 you. It's not the end of the world. Okay, we can go Amazing Dealer here. I guess I'm keeping the fusion, just in case. We can discard this Amazing Dealer here, the Taste Inspector, and the ship. Uh, yeah, I'm nowhere near activating it, so I'm going to go ahead and ship some treasures it. Uh, discarding this Harami, draw some cards. Uh, we're not rewarded at all, we are. Uh, Hard punish for doing that. I guess I can set this fusion and pass the turn. It was a hard punish here. It's only Caligulion, which is 27 here. Big number. Getting hit down to 4,000 is super rough. I have a Hee Hai now, I can potentially mill into the dial if I'm lucky enough. But this is a super tough position. And then there's uh, the ball will be empty so I can Hee Hai now. Which is uh, pretty good. I get the mill 3 here. So I've got 5 chances to hit at least one dial. Ooh, that's also pretty good. Hopefully this hits it. Nope, that's the wrong level 7, let's go. Uh, okay, we can tribute summon this Harami. And we can wipe these two. I think I do want the fusion. To just empty my hand, and now uh, hopefully, uh, because I want to hit the die ups for my secret order, so I'm gonna do this now. And now we shall mill for and see what we can get. One die up. Uh, we lost a reborn, but it's fine. We'll activate this. And we can get the die up back. Uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll shuffle both of the Haramis back in. And then just wipe the last remaining monster and then just swing it in for a big chunk of damage. Next turn, if he develops a board, I can hopefully draw back into the Harami and uh, wipe the uh, Caligulion or the Rocket Tortoise off the board. And if the Diop dies, I have a follow up secret order to uh, punch him with. Losing a one kind of sucks, but it's probably fine. I don't think I need it. Going to Mantis here. Millie. All spells. Thanks, game. Just milling all spells. What a lovely time. I think that's all of his stone excavations, also. He just milled two. Uh, he has it in hand anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Ooh, playing it risky here. Well, that that's the last one. Now he doesn't have magical stone excavation, so the reborn is uh, forever dead in hand. 
Yeah, he has to kill the uh, Hagarami here. Since I will just wipe it. Oh, yeah, I'll use it to wipe the Caligulia next turn. So I have to hope I don't draw like Starry Start right now. Because then I can just pierce over. Uh, that's also pretty good. So we can just get these two on board. And then tribute for the Harami that we shuffle back from the uh, Hormone Company Queen. Like that, I will activate the Secret Order. We'll grab this die up and drop it down onto the board and enter the battle phase. And we will swing for a game. Once this uh, die up connects and go, uh, goes direct. And GG's. Okay, game. It's the second game of the video. Uh, this hand is fine. A very s simple open here. We're gonna just tribute summon the die up. And then we'll just normal summon this uh, Jama. Let's have a relatively solid board here, not much to see. Then pass the turn. We'll need to find some of our power spells soon. Uh, the Battle Ox Tongue being set up already is pretty good. And the di finding the Diop and the Jama for Pyro Monsters is also pretty good. I guess we're playing against baseball. Avian spell strategy is very interesting. I don't think it's overall worth it, but it's an interesting choice. Also, we're playing against fire, and that just nullifies our entire strategy. Sick, lovely. God, okay, sure. Uh, we can kill the homes with the Harami, but we can't kill anything with fusion, except this Max Reader, I guess. We managed to find it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ship a seven treasures here. We're gonna see if we can find anything better than this hand. Ooh, we have one pyro, so we can activate this, and then discard this heat hyena. I guess. Let's see what we can get here. Die up, and a fusion. We can go ship a seven treasures. Discard this die up. Hopefully, we can find a thesis specter or something. Uh, just another die up is not bad, so we can just make that. Make the second die up. We have two fusions to uh, follow up our following turns. If we can finally find the uh, call it the Thesis inspector, we can just start swinging here. Mask of Good Omens. This is one of the newer ones, huh? It's until end of until end of turn. That's annoying. So we have to kill this uh, chemical cure right now. Then pass two. So that was definitely an unfortunate development, but this die up is not getting killed by this max reader anytime soon. So we'll need to, you'll need to find some way to out it. Oh no, not two sparks. Oh no. And another one. Very peculiar build of uh, baseball, I guess. Has the uh, even spell strategy so I can kill one of my fusions. Luckily, I have two, so I should be fine. What is there to stack you? I guess the Zubal batter. He's gonna stack that, I guess. I don't think I would have. Not a particularly good card to stack. Has the Caligulion. Okay. That means there are a couple things this Harami Hormone Gamma Queen can kill. It just knows it back. Okay. What a stacking gun. We will be taking a good chunk of damage here. Uh, he doesn't have piercing right now. So hopefully I can just like wall up until we find the uh, out. And wall up we shall. Uh... 
yeah, I guess we'll be doing that for a while. Just set some cards here. And we could go fusion into the uh, Harami, then into the Taste Inspector to fuse, but uh, we don't have a good enough follow up for me to consider that worth it yet. So I'm gonna wait until we find some like secret orders and whatnot. And for now, I don't think he'll be able to have a follow up to this, so we should be fine. Another Max Raider? Possibly going to a secret order to just fill up his body, which would be good for us because that would mean that he has an entire board of uh, fire attribute, non fire attribute monsters, so we can wipe it while he's just choosing the set one here to play it safe, I suppose. Killing my Battle Ox Stung. Ideally, I don't want him to kill my. I want him to kill my Taste Inspector here, but. Ah, that's annoying, that's fine. Because uh, now we have a redundant future material. We got one of the... Okay. We can definitely do some things with this. Well... We could deal a good chunk of damage, but is that worth it? Definitely a good one to think about. Uh... If I, God, if I had like the, if he had killed the, this extra taste inspector instead, I might have decided to go reborn and then make that fusion. Now then, I would have been one fusion short anyway. Okay, we'll just go and make the play right now. Triple both of these for the Harami. Go taste inspector and then go fusion to make the Hobon gun with. Queen. I'm thinking whether I want to mill with Lord Just Me, I don't think I need to. So we're just gonna simply go uh, Hormone Gun McQueen to go shuffle. I guess I'm shuffling one of the Taze Inspectors just in case. We can. I'm, now I need to choose whether I want to go for the Reborn or the Caligulion. I think I want to do that. But first, I'm definitely going to Secret Order here to grab one of these die ups. And uh, let's just go reborn grab his uh, Caligulion. For that 4k swing. And deal that big chunk of damage. And now we can pass the turn. The chemical carrot. Is it possible that I die? Uh, it's very much possible. Because uh ground draw kills me. But he doesn't have the uh number 39 yet, so it's uh fine. Oh this also kills me, I think. Yeah, this comes me because the diabus too weak. Mm, unfortunate. He has a secret auto also. The secret order wouldn't have been enough, but this uh, home plate was them. Oh well. If we had a hard defense mission here, we would have been fine. But we didn't and we paid the price. Okay, game 2. I think maybe... Like, I guess, I guess it was possible that I didn't need to secret order there. Yeah, I guess I didn't really need to. I could have just reborn the Caligula and just sat on it. Yeah. Could have kept the secret order for a follow up. Okay, going first again. Our hand is playable. But not the best hand ever, but this is fine. We can just set some cards here and. Just draw, dig, dig deeper into a deck next turn. And just uh, play with what our hand is next turn. Doesn't seem like he's actually playing with the ground draw. 
which means the only thing I need to worry about is this home plate here which he just milled, so that's one down. Bomber? Okay, I guess for the avian spell strategy. I think it's not really worth it to be playing that much into the avian spell strategy. I think there's more than enough good like fire warriors that you can play. But whatever. Crashing into this battle ox tongue here so it doesn't get destroyed. And decides to kill it. That's fine. I have the amazing leader alive then. Ooh, very interesting. Okay, uh yeah, we have the secret order. I'm just gonna go ship seven treasures to pitch this diet, draw some cards. Uh flip the amazing dealer. We have double flavor reversal, so we can just choose to uh, discard all of these monsters here and draw into some good cards. That's a good one. Go uh, even deeper. I forgot to flip up the chase inspector. <laughs> Whoops, alright. Uh, yeah, then this hand is pretty simple. We're gonna tribute summon this Harami. We're gonna go secret order and grab this die up. This was set. Uh, what does he set in this deck? Not entirely sure exactly what he would set, but I don't think I need to worry about it too much. We'll attack this bombing bird. And yeah, let's go my soul just to deal as much damage as possible. So we'll see if this uh taste inspector will kill or not. It does, okay. And now we can pass it. Uh if this Harami dies we have the reborn for it. And I have another flavor reversal for next turn and the fusion. Which we could have absolutely used last turn, but uh, we did not need to. We can use it this turn to make the uh, miso instant. Well, now we can't anymore, but... We, we can draw it. No, we can't draw into it again. It's because it's in, in the deck now. Uh, all of them are engraved, probably. We have reborn into it, I guess. Doesn't seem particularly worth it. Okay, let's... Oh, we actually found the starry slot. That's great. Let's cut these two, draw two cards, and then draw one more. Ooh, Dark Lurker is super good. Okay, let's set this amazing dealer here. Then tribute the Harami and this for the Dark Lurker. Activate the Dark Lurker. Affect the pop one. Another story star is really good. I don't think we need this Harami. So we can afford to discard it off of this uh, flavor reversal. Another secret order. Okay, we can tribute for another Dark Locker, wipe the last back row. Just me, we don't really need that. Now we can go Secret Order for the die up. We can use the Starry Star in hand to get rid of the Dark Locker, grab the Fusion from Grave and the Taste Inspector from Grave. Make the miso instant, and then we'll activate the secret order again to grab the die up, and we can activate the miso instant back for the piercing, shuffling these cards right here, and enter battle phase, die up here, and then uh the Miso Instant into one of these sand monsters for what should be lethal. Yep, zero defense game. Okay. Now for game three. Oh, he gave it. He made us go first. Very interesting. Okay, we'll just set this lurker and pass the turn. And then we have this flavor reversal for next turn as well. And one, at least one pyro engrave. We have a normal monster in hand. 
So we could like tribute summon this and then activate the reversal for, to get the extra draw. But for now this lurker is going to be serving us pretty well. As a wall if nothing else. Well, it's gone now. There is no wall. <laughs> Secret ordering the Mactuator out kills my Dark Lurker which is very unfortunate. Okay, we have to actually worry about this back row now. Uh, I think we go shit with some treasures here. Oh, well, then we can't amazing the. I guess it's fine if we don't get to amazing below. We can just discard it off of the flavor reversal system at the end of the world. Harami is a uh, okay find. Our normal summon is Jamalui. We'll discard the amazing dealer only, I think. Yeah, I, I, we're gonna keep this just in case. And now we absolutely don't want to keep it anymore. We'll keep one of them still. I'm thinking whether I want to keep the fusion. I don't think I want to. I guess I got punished for not keeping the fusion. Oh well. And we'll tribute summon it, I think. We have two ways to get it back anyway. We're fine. We can activate the secret order here. To yank the diet back. He cannot protect it with the mask of good omen since it's just barely ahead, I think. Or or he just has mirror force, you know, that's fine too. At least we got the Mirror Force out of the way now. So that's uh, fine, I guess. I guess I should be careful and... Uh, well, no, because I, I normal summon this and attack for the uh, flavor reversal. So I guess I could have tributed it over it instead. That was the play I could have done. But turn to uh, Mirror Force is not something you would normally expect. Okay, at least it doesn't have a very particularly impressive turn. Both of these being fire is kind of annoying for our Hormone Gun McQueen turn if we ever get to that. But again, he still doesn't have piercing, so I can just set my guys here and just hope and pray, I guess. Yeah, we can just sit. We'll definitely set the Heat Hyena and the Marmot. And also, to start, start, the question is what else do I set? And I can get the Taze Inspector back with it. Same with the Rosic Horseman, I guess. Okay, I guess I'll set a Rosic Horseman. And pass on. So now we're just waiting to have a good combo turn. And he's just gonna be uh, twiddling his thumbs and just swinging into all my set monsters. We're just gonna be waiting until one of us can actually make a good play. I guess I'm. I think I'm just waiting to set up double secret order. That would be the best line, I guess. Huh. Okay. I guess I can go into it right now. Uh. Using the... I can send the die up and then grab the... Just any normal monster, it doesn't need to be anything particular. A Roasted Horseman, I guess. Literally doesn't matter. All this is here for is to... Get me an additional Tribute folder and grab this fusion. You can set this. Tribute, summon for die up. Normal summon the Taste Inspector. And then we can infusion. I would like to use the shuffle three, but uh, that will be diluting my deck with pyro monsters that I don't need to be drawing into. I need to be drawing into my secret orders, my infusions, and whatnot. So I'd much rather just get this uh, big stat line out and just attack over the smack reader, and we will be preserving pyro monsters for when we actually need a piercing. Or maybe I should have. Um, I think it was a misplay. I should have killed the bombing bird instead. Cause now he has the max reader in grave already. If he has secret orders, so he can beat it over. Yep, uh, that was a bad play on my part. And attacking over the bomb was more damage, and the max reader wasn't threatening my board anyway. Yeah, it was just a misplay in half. Oh well. And we go down to two thousand here. Uh, 
and uh, we'll be playing the same game again where we just sit and wait until we find good stuff to do. Maybe this is a turn I'm forced to do good stuff because I am dead next turn. Well, I could still just secret order into something, I guess. Yeah, I'll have to burn a secret order this turn if I want to live, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. Secret order into the dire. This time we're gonna kill the correct thing and we're gonna kill the uh, bombing bird. And set these two cards. And we'll ha we are uh, we only have twelve cards left in deck, so we should very likely be able to join to something good. If he starts to have actual background, we can even reborn into the ship, the uh, the dark lurker, and then maybe you know, pitch it with the ship seven triggers. But our board is a lot safer now, this one. And we, uh, yeah, we have the reborn, we have the fusion with the ship seven treasures. We are in a pretty good position. If he doesn't have uh, any good play to make. Maybe he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna try to kill something. Okay, that's fine. I, I really want to blow up this back with the logo, so we can use a reborn for that. 100 is very interesting. Okay, we'll reborn the logo. Uh, let's look uh, right here. We'll use it to pop that back row. We, uh, we must have lost Harami, that's kind of annoying. Hey, and pull the back row. Ship of seven treasures, you can use that to discard the dark looker draw two cards. That's pretty good. Uh, we can go flavor reversal. Discard these two cards. And then draw some cards. Okay, very good. This is very good. Flip the Rose Horseman. We can go. We have two fusions, so we can go uh, into the first one with the Battle Ox Tongue and the Rose Horseman. Right here, and then we go into a second fusion with the Taste Inspector and the Dial. And then we can go secret order to get the die up out. And then just for the sake of it, we'll do just activate all these. We'll go miso instant, shuffle these three cards right here. We get the piercing, prime beef horse, prime rose beef horseman to stack some cards here. We'll just stack all three haramis and like this he you know, it doesn't really matter here. Because these are all going to be stacked on top for us to go into the Just Meet. And then we can activate the Just Meet, sending all four Fire Beasts that we stacked on top to the grave and targeting this die up to get 6100 damage uh, attack rather over this max rate for game. Well, not for game because I miscounted, but we have the Miso instant for the Piercing. <laughs> That, that, that's game. That's this one is game. If we didn't miss from here. <laughs> and that was the deck. Just an incredibly based deck. Best deck in the format. Tier 0 meta threat. Okay, in reality, this deck is de uh, definitely not the greatest. It is uh, a, what I call a bad combo deck. But it's very reminiscent of Treasure Order. That deck also wants to wipe the board and then just get the uh, secret order online and just activate it and just do a big damage. This deck also aims to wipe the board and then activate secret order. They are very similar. Uh, the difference is that this deck is a lot more clunky or you have a lot more combo pieces that you need to go through in order to uh, get your combo going and you need to play a lot more like bad cards I guess. Not exactly bad cards, obviously these are good cards in the sense that they are enabling your strategy but Less like generally powerful cards like uh, gem set or whatnot, like indiv like individually weak cards, I guess. And like you have to play the reboard because your combo pieces are two triple monsters and you need to get on the board, and you need to fuse them with another card, so you need to make sure you have the things to fuse with. So you have to play things like reborn, and like overall, there's just a lot less space to experiment with with this deck. 
Uh, that's certainly very fun though. If you really want to, uh, if you want to play an explosive deck that isn't pressure order, and like theoretically has a higher ceiling. I guess it has the same ceiling, but it gets to the higher ceiling more consistently. Drop a pressure order is just more consistent in doing good things. But uh, this deck can be very explosive when it uh when you high roll high enough, and you know if you just want to get those neurons flowing, you can absolutely just take this deck for a spin. Just activate. Hormone Gun McQueen shoot some people down. <laughs> and yeah, just very fun deck overall. If you like what you see, stay tuned for more, check out my other videos, and we'll see you in the next one.